Welcome to the broadcast, everybody. How are you guys today? Today we are starting. It was the night before, nightmare before Christmas. And if you haven't seen the first one, it's up and ready to go. This is a 21 plus reading. This is raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. I don't know what the messages will be before the messages come out. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. Suggestions and questions can be left in the comment section below. Hi guys, I hope you're having a great day, even or night, whenever you are watching this reading. Okay guys. So, hopefully by now you checked out the, you know, Twas the Night Before, Nightmare Before Christmas. It's up. We have a few series of that. I think we got 31 day, 30 days left to this month. That was the first one that went up. All right, we're going to put this out. We're going to get some more of that energy. So, like I said, this is like that dark side of Christmas, you know. You know, they gotta always have that light and dark aspects. And we're still working with the elements. We're still working with the um, air, fire, water, and um, earth. Okay, and we all still can join in it with the as above and so below. Okay, and the last time we spoke about this, we were talking about the colds. And both of those people were colds. And both of them has and had been, you know, in this situation for a while because goals and many. It was going on for many months, many years. And, you know, it just had got redundant. Okay, and mundane. Okay, so now we're going to get see what over here in Jack and Sally's relationship do they have, you know, going on. Like I said, that's a cartoon. This is, you know, Tim Burton's um, take on tarot. And I decided it would be fun for, you know, the Christmas, you know, spirit and holiday. And that's why I brought this to you today. So, like I got to remind you guys, these are reality that is fake, fictional, the movie. And it was, you know, but the idea is the same. Because we had that same aspect in reality. But at, at more intense and more in-depth um, levels, okay? Like, they had that song. It's levels to this ish. Yeah, well, yeah, it definitely is levels to it. Definitely some levels to it. Because, you know, sometimes this levels can get deadly, Okay, that's how le that levels it could go. It could go from zero to a hundred real quick. Okay, but we trying to go to zero to one thousand real quick because we were trying to get them live readings going. Okay, y'all. So that's what we out here doing. No matter how insane you may be, there's always someone to complete the insanity. Okay, there's always somebody that's willing to put that effort into the insanity that body and clyde but not really you know but even because that person even gets tired you know because the divine masculine left divine feminine for the karmic okay but as he saw it was conflict there so we got to go here to jack and sally for the christmas holiday and see how they willing in their magic over there and see if we can learn some lessons and some you know get some comedy and some entertainment out of it as well as learn as we go along this journey. Because this is not a destination. This is a journey. Okay? And we're trying to get to wherever we need to get. Okay? To that joy, that prosperity, that health, that wealth. That, and like I told you before, for my Thanksgiving, what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for each and every one of you guys that come over and watch my videos. And get something from them. Okay? I'm here. I'm not here pulling teeth here. I'm not no dentist. I'm not forcing you to brush your teeth. I'm not your mother. I don't, you know, I'm here just a messenger, okay? And at the end of the day, when I shut this camera off, I'm going back to my regular life. So, okay, this is what we're doing. This is the old now. We're going into the old and May. So, oh, it may be old and it may be new. And this is the pull off. This is the pull off. Yeah, <laughs> somebody about to pull off on this joint. <laughs> we have to pull off on this joint right here. We about to pull off. All right, y'all. So let's get started. 
Enough of me rambling, talking all that shit. All right, so happiness. Somebody want some happiness. Is that in relationships? But that's in them triangles. Time and time again, the time of triangles. And then they got them failures. So when you go in them triangles, you got nothing but failures to come through, right? Hey, I, I don't make the story. The story come to me, okay? So I'm going to take it off them ropes. Because we was on the ropes before. We was like, we was just hanging on the ropes, okay? Let's see what we on now. All right? Oh, we on a lot of stuff right here. We on them umbrellas right now. But ho, ho, ho. Pause, pause, pause. Let's get too happy, y'all. We get too happy. Y'all going too fast. We got to see who out here. Okay? We, we know Jack and Sally out here. We know them out here. All right, let's see what Jack and Sally want to tell us first. Because y'all so eager to hear what Jack and Sally got to say. I want y'all to know what direction Jack and Sally going first. Y'all so fast. It ain't even Monday yet. And y'all so fast. It's just now Friday night. And y'all going off fast. Why y'all going so fast? Slow down. We ain't even had no drinks or nothing. It's just now tap t five minutes to ten. Why are we going so fast? Happiness may aware. Oh, I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So somebody thought they was on the right path here. On this relationship, I'm attracted to those people who serve my highest good. Huh. All right. And then it says, I am that. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. I told you we was out here. Somebody was going to be a teacher. Somebody was going to learn some lessons out here. And, you know, you got to learn some things, you know. And the only way you learn stuff is by hurt, getting hurt, right? You, shit, you cut your finger off, you know that knife's are sharp now, don't you? <laughs> okay, and at the bottom of that, we got the gratitude, okay? I'm thankful for this life. And the opportunities that it presents. Okay? Alright, so that's what we're happy for. And things that it shows us. And the paths that it takes us on. Like I said, we... I mean, no matter how dark our, our hour is. Okay? No matter how dark your hour is today, tomorrow, the next day, and after that. Or I may have many bright jars. You might come to a dark part. And you might need to come here and see where what happens when you get to this point. Okay? But right now, we're going to talk about it. So, on this happiness... Uh, we got some, we ain't got a straight road. We got a, some, got some obstacles in this road. It ain't straight road. It ain't straight parallel. There's some crooked stuff going on here. And this happiness. And this head tell you do not enter on these relationships already from the freaking door. Tell you don't enter. And this relationships with no triangles. All triangles in the relationship. And on the octagon. All right, on the failures. It says, this is a one way street here. One way. We only going one way, and they way. That's, that's they way, back. Back. They said going back that way. It ain't pointing this way. Going out, it's going to point that. Going back that way. Okay? Look at it. Now, to y'all, it might be pointing to to y'all right. Okay? Because it's pointing to my right. Okay? If it was pointing to my right, that's my right on this. <laughs> Yeah, that's my right on this side. Yeah, so. Might be telling y'all to keep right. Keep on right on moving. <laughs> okay? <laughs> that's what it might be telling you. Okay? I can't tell you what these things is telling you. Okay? All right, talk about it. Talk to me. Okay, talk about it. We're going to talk to um Denise Lynn out here and ask her what she's seeing here. Come on, Den Denise. Tell me some things. About the sacred, uh, sacred journey we on, sacred destiny. What destiny is this on Jack and Sally on this twas the night mare before Christmas? Tell me some things, Jack, uh, Lynn. Tell me some things. Tell me some things on this happiness. <sighs> All right. She talking about some transformation going to happen on this happiness. She says some more transformation going to happen. All right. Tell me about the relationships. Uh-huh. Come on, come on with it, Cletus. Come on, come on with it. Some still that's going to have to happen on these relationships. Because you're going to be still and shocked what happened, you see, what you heard, and what somebody told you, okay? Or what you're going to catch, okay? This is on the flow, because this person's failures is flow, flowing strong through this person. Failures. 
Okay, we're going to get this action on this flow of failures. Okay, we're going to go back over here and talk to Jack and them, see what they talking about. And then we're going to get where, where we talk, where we at with it. Okay? <laughs> hey, this is what we do out here. And then we're going to tell you what them animals that spared that ride with them. And what, what, the, what the action they under. Okay? Can y'all see my camera? Let me see. Back up, y'all. Y'all be always up on me. Back. Oh, there you go. So y'all can see. You want to beg with C, don't y'all? All right, there you go. How y'all pop out that? All right, y'all. And as y'all can see, this Ace of Cups is right here on the side. Okay, but that was from our last. That was when we left the last one. The last show. The Silver Lines is still living out here. And then we still got this King of Swords out here talking. So we got some stuff out here. We got the needles out here. I don't know, y'all. We great get into some crazy, crazy stuff, y'all. I told y'all, these decks right here, once you start messing with this kind of dark stuff, it automatically thinks that you want to tell it. Like, people that are in the in-between that maybe had sudden deaths, are now these people will want to come and give me their messages. Okay, so that's what this will open up to them. Like I want to tell them. Other than that, they won't let me sleep. They won't let me rest. I'll toss and turn. They'll make me have hot flashes. They'll make me have all kind of different things like that. Other than, ordinarily, I take micro powder, and I don't have any signs of that. But if they want to make, they'll make my night like an insomniac night, tossing and turning. I only get two hours of interval of sleep anyway. So I snap right up at two in two hours. Every time I fall off to sleep, I don't know what it is. I'm under like I used to do shift work. Enough about that. Let's get to it, y'all. Okay, so let's talk about it. Underneath the bottom of this deck, it's called the ten of ten of potions here. So somebody out here is really a big, big drinker. Okay, big drinker. You might find a lot of drinkers out here. Now that this um, situation has had us in this. Um, situation for a long time because i've been seeing the liquor stores open at nine o'clock and them people standing in line getting liquor okay so talk to me all right so they got two pull all right so on the top of this transformation you're gonna need a transformation because this is the moon side this is their moon side here okay the sun is coming right after this but the moon is there right now okay this is their shadow side okay that's that moon side that's their shadow side tell me about this stillness i got here All right, that's that's that wheel of fortune. We just had that wheel of fortune in the same position in the last reading. Okay, so it's back out here in the back same position, but in the second row. On it was illumination was here last. Now we have stillness. So we was illuminating something underneath these um Russian roulette. This is a roulette of a saw. So so this this saw could cut you in half, or it could you know, or you could get it could break you loose so you could break loose okay but the way it's looking right now you as a skeleton look like you have been still as you can be almost to the point of a corpse okay because this is the dark side okay we were at the very very dark side of things okay i told you anything can come through anything okay so right now as i'm getting these messages it's telling me I'm getting a lot of shaded dark on this flow over here. And you usually know that's usually down in the ghettos when I get all this flowing. Because rich people and elite people don't have a flow. You know, they have creativity. And they have um, potentials and investments. And they have different things. Well, when you're down in the block. You got hustle and flow all the time. That's a, that's a 24-hour day, seven days a week, always scheming, masterminding, and all that shit all the time. Okay? That's that low vibe of energy. Okay? So I feel it. I know it when it comes. Okay? So when I see it, like we got here, the page of needles. Page of needles. Okay? And the wheel of fortune. So we got some folks out here on a... One way street going back that way on a relationship that say do not enter. And I hate doing that, y'all. I have I have a, a, a pointer. And then we have the happiness. Because I do talk with my hands. So I do have this out here. Now look at this. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So this person knows that when they feel happy in these destitute situations and these things with moves and secrets, oh, I'm so happy with him. He make me so happy. 
it's the most painful because ebonics is backwards it's like lex um it's like dyslexia okay so it's ebonics it's backwards okay like what I call a person call you big head or get out my face, you know how big head. Like that kind of stuff, that's reverse psychology. To insult you, but injure you and manipulate you to think, do I really got a big head? Do I really got a long forehead? Do I really have um something that he calling me a big head for? Or maybe they use the word bitch. Maybe they call you my bitch. That's them devaluating you. That's just them disrespecting you. That's also an insult and that's also manipulating you. But also they use that as love as well. You two have two different love languages. Okay? So let's talk about it. That's on that happiness. That's on relationships. And that's on the failures. Okay? And that's talking about the moon, the will of fortune, and talking about the page of needles. So the shit is gonna hurt. Okay? It's gonna hurt. It's painful. It's needles. Needles. They don't use... Um, swords in this deck. They use needles. They use presents. They use potions. And they use, um, what's the next one? Needles, potions, presents, potions. Maybe that's all they use is those three. Oh, and candles. So, you know, that's hot wax and all that shit. That's where we going with this. 1634. 39. I'm sorry. All right, so let's talk about it real quick, y'all. Real quick. I got me taking my stuff off the table. Don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. All right, so let's go talk about the moon real quick. Just so y'all know where we at. This is for y'all. So, um, the people that love um, watching tarot readings and really get a kick out of readings and stuff. This is for you guys. I love making them for you. This is my table. This is where we come when we meet. Right here on this table. Okay? This is where we come. When we gather, this is where we gather at. This is why I make it so y'all come over here and hang out. Come on, y'all. Okay. So this is about um, analyzing complex and confusing situations. You find yourself in are things really what they seem to be what's going on under the surface and beware of deception and listen to your instincts um and they know the truth in order to move forward you need to be honest about the things you're feeling with yourself and others expressing yourself will lift a weight off of your chest and get you out of the melancholy headspace the sun is about to come out and a new day will bring new possibilities like i told you like i said y'all i know like okay you must reach a you have reached a turning point in your you reached a turning point ain't that by uh al green or marva gay one of them i reached a turning point in my life the moment when the storm clouds part, the sun comes out and your luck begins to change. Now may be the time to make a big move. Whether you switch careers, begin a new romance, jumpstart, lifestyle shifts, or relocate across country, you'll have good fortune on your side. And they told us that before. But also, life is dull. Life is full of ups and downs. Right, and everything can change in an instant, which may feel scary and even traumatic. Don't be, don't get discouraged when things seem dire. But fortune is unpredictable, and fate is at play. Stay hopeful on this wheel, okay? Because I told you this is that. Um, like Oogie Boogie's roulette wheel, the wheel of fortune is all about chance. This um is a major life change and shift in luck. Okay, so that's what they're talking about. And then we're going to go down here to the page of needles. Going down here where them needles is. I don't know, like I told you, we might be down here where they do needle exchange. Down where they take methadone. I told you, when they start talking about needles and down in the hood and stuff, down in dark places, you know what I mean? That's when I know we down, get ready to go down into like the ghettos and stuff. Page of needles. This is talking about the, um, this is cunningness. Okay? Remember we talked about them cunning ass motherfuckers? Look at that. Look at that. Look how they changed their goddamn face now. This is cunning shit. Look at that. Cunning. That's cunning. Smiling in your face 
And you can't tell that they cunning because this is what their face looked like on the other side, 2002. This is what their face looked like on the other side of that mask that they've been wearing. Okay, on the flow. Okay. This is the cunning, curious, personality archetype. Light, lock, shock, and barrel. The page of needles is wit and cleverness, but lacks the maturity to realize his way isn't always the best, okay? And then this is um, becoming a know-it-all whose ego gets in the way of success. He doesn't keep his promises and often passes the blame for his own mistakes to others. Snid and manipulative, um, the needles is a childish, cold, and self-interest. Remember, cooperation and humility will get you further than bulldozing others. Okay, so this person like to bulldoze their way through with cunningness. Cunningness. Remember when we was talking about um that entanglement with um Jada Pinker Smith? But now we got another new bitch on here that's cunning. But you know what? That lady got right back at her, whoever that is. I'm talking about that Holly Berry situation and that um Lisa Ray. Lisa Ray told her about her man being mean, mean to men and can't keep a man. But let me tell you something. Holly Berry snapped back and said, Bitch, ask my man. Because, bitch, uh, Lisa Ray ain't got no goddamn man. Okay? Her man left her. And we're going to do a little thing on her, too, in between this 12th the night before Christmas. We're going to put Lisa Ray out here. Because Lisa Ray out here, I can't figure out why she can't get a man. What? What? And she wasn't she the light-skinned girl? Back in the day, light skin was in. They had them light-skinned girls. Them girls was in. And now why she can't keep a man? What about her? It's... What a, what's her dark side that nobody, she can't keep no man and her man left her. And she can't go get another man. What, was she have been blackballed by all men? Like, so many people, like, what, she didn't got on the old list? What, what's the reason? Let's find out. Like, you know, this reading ain't about them. We're talking about Jack and Sally right now. But she jumped right in because I told you she was in somebody else's business. I told you this can bring all kind of dark stuff back in. Okay, so now we got Santa on the hangman here. We got Santa on the hangman here on this stuff. So somebody here on the hangman. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's see who these animals is out here. Let's get it. 2239. Let's see who these animals is. All right, we got some wolves out here. Wolves and sheep's clothing. We got some hares out here. All right, we might got a little jackalope out here. We don't know what we got out here. We got parrots out here. We got some gospel manipulation and deceptive behaviors out here. We do got that. I can tell you that right now because I saw parrots on the back of the thing. So somebody out here talking behind your back on this wheel too. And on this hair. So, oh, somebody definitely squirrels. So uh, talk about they cunning. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Manipulating you. Okay. This is on that tortoise, okay? I could last a long time like this with my cunning ass shit, okay? When changes are made for the sake of change, it's resist. Itself, and when it's based on change itself, resist. It's how I'm, resist the shit this person's trying to give to you. Because that's why you want to hang man, right? All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We know what we talk. We came out here with gratitude, Okay? I am thankful for the life and the opportunity that it presents. Okay, we out here presenting something. They presenting something out here to us. All right, so this is like that entangled. We entangled out here. We entangled in some shit that, you know, we don't know much about. But we're going to find out about it. Listening to your inner wisdom and enjoy the gifts of freedom. So you once you get out of this secrets and finding out what had happened, let's talk about it. Let's see what we had happened here. Tell me what happened on this happiness. Tell me what's happening on this happiness. Huh? He wants you to put it in your mouth. That's what happened on this happiness. He wants you to put it in your... You put it in your mouth. Okay? Huh. Okay? Then he wants to send you the violin. Okay? The uh, the magic of the violin. <laughs> that shit is... Five. He wants to change this situation. I told you not to go up in there. I told you. Don't go up in there. This is a failure. Okay? Talk to me. Okay? And you trying to tame a wild beast. Motherfucker that's... Trying to be a squirrel. He trying to be a goddamn squirrel. Gathering your resources now. 
for they will sustain you through the coming change. So get you gathering your shit up now so you can get up out of here and ready to go with this kind of shit on this flow. Unless this is where you want to hang out in this entangled situation, you go right ahead because at the bottom of this deck, this is what's happening. Okay? <laughs> That's what's happening. Now tell, now tell me what you want me to know about this umbrellas of shit you got here. Tell me about this dumb ass wolf and sheep's clothing. Got stuff or us. Either or, either you stay or you go. Okay? You know, on these waters and baskets and the supply buckets of shit you got here. On this moon shit you got. And not putting it in your mouth. You want to stay. Okay, this is the same person. I hope it ain't the same one out here trying to tell me she still wants to stay with somebody. And reconcile. But that's up to you. This is up to you. Okay, this is the stairs you climbing on this on this wheel of fortune, on this hair. Okay? They're gonna tell me what it is, y'all. They're gonna come with it. On do not enter on these stairs. Alright, this is the ship's wheel. Okay? This is the sailing off. This is on that six of, of swords, sailing off. The ship's wheel. How you sailing this ship? We going out there to the sea creatures where the sea, sea creatures got our boat up on that uh, fucking thing up there. On the on, on top of his fucking back. About to dump us under the thing and capsize our boat or what? Come on. Tell me what, what we got here. Tell me about these oars. Either or. Tell me about it on the Shadowlands side. All right. We at the table rewriting some shit. We idealizing some shit at the table. We got to go in our high self. We trying to be masterminded about the shit. That about, we trying to be grown about it. He trying to figure out why you all won't put it in your mouth no more. And Okay. This is about the two of wands. About the ghosting that happened. Okay? This is about the <laughs> two of wands. About ghosting on these stairs. Why you leave? Why you leave me? Why you leave? I told you this was about that cat and mouse. You know that cat runner chaser shit. Oh shit, come on. This is the ace of swords. On this ship's wheel. Okay? This is how they talking. This is talk about talk about talk about taming them. About um failures. Okay? Failures. This is about the failures. And I understand that they are mere lessons, right? And this is on a one-way street. They failures. This is what he want to speak about stuff that benefits him. What can he get out of it? Or what can she get? Am I getting a Birkin bag and some um, Finney called Rihanna so I could get me some? Because I'm going to buy some drawers at the mall with him. <laughs> you know what I mean? You better hope I don't find your man. Because if I meet him, I'm going to have a ball with him. Take him to the mall with him. Make sure how that song go. I forgot how it go. <laughs> But body, 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 I forgot how that song go too, but they playing it. Knight of Pentacles, okay? He riding around with his pentacle bag in his hand, okay, on a snail. So his money is slow, okay? He's slow. He get that shit in dribs and drabs, okay? Maybe he make day money. Maybe he sit on, I don't know where he's sitting at. That's a damn praying mantis, okay? He pray for his money to come in, <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if you've ever met that person or not. Like Some of them narcissists are like so covert that they can idealize money. Okay? As you can clearly see, the snail don't even have eyeballs. He just he just, just snailing along. <laughs> no eyeballs. Okay? Just... I don't, they don't know where they going. Okay? Because this shit is slow. And I told you they out here talking about all kind of shit with this pack talking. I told you then they get down real small like a mouse, okay? And be persistent and incisive of all obstacles that will you will overcome them, okay? So tell me some old things about um, these. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, tell me some old things. Don't shift my table, y'all. So come on, tell me some old things. Mm -hmm. Tell me some things. I know y'all don't got no love, but tell me some things about this King of Swords. This is the embrace. This is the embrace. This is how they embrace this. This is the, what they want you to do. They want you to embrace the shadow side of them. Okay? No matter what they do wrong, they still want you to put it in your mouth. <laughs> that ain't going to never stop. Okay? That's going to be a forever and for all, a day thing. This is the new vitality. But you chose to, you know, two of wands when you decided to see that things wasn't going to be, you know, when they come with this sling and this violin on these relationships, you thought it was going to be some new vitality. This person might got ED erectile dysfunction this person might can't get it up or get it hard or keep keep it that way okay they got a speed to them but they ain't got no rhythm nothing nothing, nothing to work with lint, lint noodle 
oodle and noodle type. Okay? That's what they got. Okay? So this is on the snail. Like I saw, I told you, this slow, this thing ain't gonna work pretty good. It ain't gonna work. And he pray that it work. Okay? Shit, I'm getting all kind of shit. Jack, Jack messing up here. This is on the manifestation. They hope that it's gonna work that day on this hangman and entangle and waste your damn time because they feeling alone right now. They want you to give them a little, you know, give them a little, it's been a dry desert right now. It's been a dry desert. Okay? And they were looking for some, you know what I mean, sexual healing. They told us about this, um, what did they tell us back there? I told you it was, um, um, I thought it was Al Green's song. And then here the flow is right back out again. Flow out here on the table and flow right here. So this is how they flow. This is, I told you where we was at. This is how they flowing out here on this dry desert. They try to get some. They try to get them some booty. You know where I can find some booty. On this dry desert. Tell me some things. On this red square. Alright. This is a financial and material changes. Okay. So they money about to change on this shit here. On these squirrels and gathering your resources now. For they will sustain you through the coming changes. It's about to get cold. They try to get their house and they play settled so they can keep it has to be warm on this hat. Discernment before a passionate encounter leads to the magic of love. So they plan on moving up in your place so they can be secure for the winter. Try to get that gather their nuts together. Okay, on this foundation and achievements. Okay, and then rest and rejuvenate at your place. Okay, on this wolf, listen to your inner wisdom and enjoy the gifts of freedom. So they ain't got to pay no bills. They're going to eat your food and watch your TV and change your lifestyle. And if you are liking these types of readings and they have mistress you, and this is the as above and so below, the twas the night married before Christmas, may you subscribe, like, and share. And hit that bell notification so you don't miss another upload. Along with that thumbs up. Namaste. Now I must go.